Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to how to program web pages in HTML. Little exclamation mark. This is part number three headings, links, and tables. We're going to learn three things today. Three very important things. Well, maybe one of them's not so important, but then again, it kind of is. So, we have our website folder. I, I, I kind of deleted all the files, so I guess this is a refresher. Go into Notepad. Go to File, Save As. I'm already in the website folder. And index.htm. Lovely. All files, save. Cool. Okay. We are ready to begin. So type in your HTML tag and your body tag. And we can close your body tag. And we can close your HTML tag. Lovely. Okay, we're ready to begin from here. So, we're going to begin with the paragraph, I guess. I've said begin far too many times so far in this tutorial. Put in a little paragraph like, The news today says that I have become br uber uber is that how, uber how would you spell that uber cool and like awesome in ways you br <laughs> can't can't even comprehend can't spell comprehend. Can't even. There we go. <laughs> okay, I made that last way too long, but you know, it's fine. That's our n our little bit of text. Now we're gonna start using headings. Heading number one. So for your first heading, the tag is H1. And now you have your first heading. Whoa! So let's type in. Uh, in for. Nathan Highway and close off the H1 tag. And there we go. We should have a s our first heading. Yay! Information Highway. The news today says blah blah blah. So, but I, I let, let's make a, a smaller heading. Do you want to know how you make a smaller heading? Well, I bet you can't guess. You use heading number two. Now you can reuse heading number one, and it, it creates another bit of text that's the same size, but we now want to go on to heading number two. So, well, actually, we'll need to br. br, break, and then I'm going to type in news, because that's, that's the next subheading. And then let's go for a third subheading, which would be today's date, which I don't know. H3. Close that tag. Oh, I didn't close either of them. So, let's try it out. Open with Firefox. Yay! Didn't actually need a BR tag. I just remembered. Headings automatically make a new one. But there, there you go. Bigger space between them. It's good. It's all good in the hood. So that's heading. And usually, to be honest, I just use the font tag, but, uh, yeah, you can use heading tags if you want. Uh, let, let's move swiftly on to our next thing, which is going to be links. So, if I wanted to create a link, and I'm, I'm going to say, hmm, well, I, if I want to make a link, I'm gonna, first I'm going to need a bit to link to. So, let's copy our index, paste it, and make it into games. That way... We'll have another web page that's separate. We can put in games here. So uh let's let's make our games page like uh games are well cool like because I think so la 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 lovely. Okay? That's that's our web page we're going to link to, okay? So, we need some text to link to the place. So, if 
you like uber cool games, you should check out games. And we're going to make the word games into a link. So to do that, we're going to need another tag, which is A. And the attributes to this is href. Ref. <laughs> and our parentheses. Now we enter in the file that we're linking to. Now, since the file is in the same directory as... Uh, the games file is in the same directory as the index file, we just have to type in games games dot htm or whatever name you have for your web page remembering that you need the extension because otherwise it's just not going to work it's not going to happen and then you're going to complain and I'm going to be like <gasps> it's your own fault man it's your own fault it works and then we're going to close the a tag don't know why it's called a but it is so there you go save it and let's test it out so refresh if you like cool uber cool games, you should check out games. Well, let's click on games then. <gasps> wow, it's a separate web page. Awesome. Well, yeah, it doesn't have many games on it, but it is a separate web page. So that's cool. We've got linking in now. So we've got one more thing on the thing, on the thingy thing, called tables. Now, this is a big one. This is one you need to know, otherwise you can't make uber cool looking websites. And yeah, it's pretty hard to memorize as well, so you're gonna have to take some time. Usually, keep a reference beside you or whatever to tell which order the tags are in, but there's quite a few separate tags that go between this. So, let's begin. You get the table tag, which is the basic open and close the table. So, table. There we go. Now, tr is our next tag. Now this means row, so you create another row and then you create a column for that row which is td and we'll, we'll put this as, we'll enter something in here like cell number 1 and we'll close that td tag Whoop. td close it in fact, we'll put it on top again. And we'll open another TD tag. So there's another column. To I mean, yeah, another column. <laughs> Cell number two. And close. Er, er, column. And then we go down a row. So we're going to type in, we're going to close that row with TR. And we're going to open up another row with TR. And then we're going to do the same again. So TD cell number 3. And cells are just boxes in terms of databases and things. So we'll just use the cell. And we're open, close it and open up another column in that row. And we'll call this cell number... Oh, I typed in number. Number four and uh, you don't have to type in like text or anything you can have whatever you want in this table you can have images you can have all sorts all sorts of things you can even have tables within tables which is very useful for later on might I add so we can now that we have all that we'll just leave it close it off and stuff and there you go this should be a nice little table formatted beautifully beautifully oh need to open it up again not games. Open Firefox. There we go. There's our table. And by default, actually, now the browsers don't show the border of a table, but it used to be that tables always got shown the border. But basically, it's all it's all formatted as a table. And yeah. So let's let's learn a couple of little tags real quickly for the table because we don't have much time left. Well, we do, but I don't want to keep this going on forever. We can make the table. A width. We can make the width attribute, even using the same equals, then parentheses and the value. So we'll make it 400 pixels wide, and we'll make it 
Halt. Uh. Halt. <laughs> and then we can type in something like 80 percent. Now you can use percent in these as well, um, which is very useful for making websites that fit all sizes. So keep that in mind. Now that works for the whole table. That will make the whole table. Good gosh. That will make the whole table that size. Will you open, please? See, the whole table is much bigger now. And the the cells get automatically spaced out to be... So if you've got two cells across, then it will instantly make them half the size of the full table each. But we can change that by individually changing the different cell widths and stuff. So let's make this one width of 100. So now this will be much smaller. Don't want the space there. Looks ugly. Save that. Refresh. There we go. Now the width's only that much. And it carries on for the next cell because that's just default. If you change one, then the other one will change unless you change the other one as well. So there you go. So yeah, there you have it. Tables, headings, and links all in one awesome episode. So next episode, we'll go over some backgrounds and we'll go over how to change the title of your page, which is all very exciting. And I'll think of something else to chuck in there. So yeah. See you guys later, thanks for watching, and we will get to good stuff soon. Honest.